My name is Ms. Kong, and I've been teaching with Ms. Karki for two years at Digital Tech. Ms. Karki is a good teacher because she is passionate about math and everything she teaches. She's one of my personal favorites. I definitely say in the top three. She's a very helpful teacher. I feel like every student will agree with me when I say that Ms. Karki is super kind. I feel like she's like more chill than you would think. Like, so your teacher can't be chill, you know? But I feel like she's a really chill person. My name is Ms. Karki. I teach Algebra 2 at Digital Tech. Teaching at DT has been a roller coaster. I would say my first year was a little rough, but after that, it's been great. I really love the staff here. I love the students here. Um, I love teaching math, which I feel like is super obvious. My students this year are very strong, especially like working with 10th and 11th grade, because I feel like those grades, you know, you're like finally, you're used to high school, but you're not a senior yet. So it's really fun to get to know and be with the 10th and 11th graders. And then also, of course, I just like teaching math. So I love being able to teach math to people. And hopefully they leave my classroom not hating math. That's my goal. I think Ms. Kong and I work really well together. She helps me out with like the anchor charts, the logistics, the classroom management. She's really good at small group with the specific students that we choose small group with. And I think we just have a good co-teaching relationship where we just get each other. It's worked really well, I think. Um, not only do I work alongside with her, uh, we text almost every night. We've gone out to dinners. We've gone fishing together. Um, I know her boyfriend. We actually live next door to each other, if you want to be honest. I grew up in the suburbs of Minneapolis and Minnesota, so suburban life, very different from New York City. So I would say my life right now is very different from growing up, but I feel like the way that I grew up has affected like who I am today a lot. So I moved to New York for college. I went to New York University, and so I feel like coming here for college, it wasn't as big of a shock because, you know, it was college. I will say it was very different from suburban life. It was a lot more diverse, which I, I think appreciated a lot, especially like being Indian, it was nice being around other people of different colors rather than just white people. It was shocking, but I got used to it pretty fast and I loved it here. Like once I decided that I wanted to go into teaching, I realized like I wanted I want to teach in the community that I'm going to school in. I just love being here because there's just so many convenient things about New York City that's just not the case when you live in Minnesota. I think because both of my parents ended up coming here and going straight into like education, education was always a very big part of my life. Like if you work hard, you will be successful. And I feel like I, because of that, I have a very strong work ethic. Like I really truly believe that if you work hard, you will succeed in life, whether that be through college or like through whatever. But if you put in your all, like you'll be fine.